slice of pizza, cookie crumbs, even that tuna sandwich you couldn't finish. Yeah, food scraps are helping the environment, and now the University of Texas is sending a lot of less, a lot less food waste to the landfill. Chris Coffey explains in tonight's Fox 7 Energy Team report. Let's face it, who wouldn't take advantage of an all-you-can-eat cafeteria? Especially if you're a college student away from home. But sometimes our eyes are bigger than our stomachs, and we don't eat everything on the tray. Well, UT's Consolving Dormitory Cafeteria is testing a new device that could totally change what happens to half-eaten breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. You really have to see it to believe it. A big chunk of the food that doesn't get eaten here, it doesn't just go in the trash, it becomes this, and it's something you can put on your garden. UT says during any given year, more than 100 tons of edible food gets wasted in their two resident dining halls. That's a lot of trash. So how does this turn into this? Workers clear off the trays, then food waste shoots down this waterway into a machine that removes water from the scraps. That's nothing new. But it's this machine, the E-Correct, on it's the pulp food. Kind of fast composted is what I would call it. And so it's not really compost when it's finished, but it's real close. And it's actually could be used at that point as a soil amendment. It gets broken down into a tobacco-like substance, and it means less trash goes to a landfill. By the time it's at this stage, it's been reduced by about 95% in weight and volume. UT says it's working on ways to get this dehydrated food waste to local farmers who can use it to grow more food or as livestock feed. But Versity does plan to eventually purchase them. For the Fox 7 Energy Team, I'm 7 on your side's Chris Coffey. And by the way, the University of Texas says it has already reduced its food waste by about 30%. And they hope to reduce waste even further by getting rid of food trays in cafeterias. We're back in just a